In this video, we're going to get a, give a high-level overview of what TimeScribe is and specifically how you're going to use it, some of the different features, and some of the other videos we're going to dive into how to activate uh, your auto timer TimeScribe as well as how to edit some entries. So the first thing that you'll notice is that if I go ahead and just click on this auto time history here and get into TimeScribe, is that it's going to have a variety of different entries once it loads. So every single day, I'm doing my work within Smokeball, and it's creating these different entries. Well, how, what kind of activity is Smokeball tracking? Through our activity intelligence, I'm going to X out of this, and then I'm going to go to our AI view on the left-hand side. Every single day as you're just working through Smokeball, it's tracking all the different calendar events that you're doing. So if you spend 30 minutes on the event, it's going to say 30 minutes, an hour, etc. When I'm opening matters, when I'm doing a task, I can man manually put in how long this task takes me or I can easily edit it after the fact. When I'm creating documents, it's tracking how much time you're spending in the document and rounding that up to 6 or 15 minute increments based on how you're billing. In emails, it's paying attention to when you send or receive an email or when you're reviewing an email that you later have in your inbox or going back to an email. And it's tracking every minute that you're in it of active time. Memo is very similar to task, so if you're taking notes through the memo, you can set a duration or go ahead and add it later. And Smokeball is even tracking when you're going into Matter and doing administrative type work. What I mean by that is it's tracking when you're making changes, when you're working on a specific client file, putting in case details, etc. The beauty of all this is that because it's tracking all that information, I don't necessarily have to track every single thing I do, but more importantly, I'm not missing anything that I'm doing throughout the course of the day. So this is a very powerful tool to get you more into like the profitability based on all the activity I'm spending or doing all the time rather than I'm spending with a client. Every single day between 1 and 3 a.m. what's going to happen is auto time or time scribe is going to go ahead and run. It's going to go through all of these activities you completed in Smokeball and it's going to create that entry like I was showing on this screen. <clears throat> You're going to wake up to an email, and I'll show you what that email looks like. That essentially says, hey, here is, here's your report for yesterday. Here are the matters you worked on, how much time you spent on it, as well as the amount that could be billed based on if you're billing manually. Over time, as you start building all this, you'll be able to start building some nice intelligence into what matters you're being more profitable on. So if I go into just a simple matter to show you how this would function, and let's just scroll down. Let's just go into a simple civil dispute. So I have a Wilson file. I've gone ahead and created that activity. If I click on performance, now you can see I can show how much I build, what it's actually costing me based on my staff, whether it's based off the activity I've done, or on the flip side, how much actual time I spent, what's my actual profit. A couple things to note about TimeScribe is that it's not automatically billing a client and you would still need to go through, ideally through Boost, and go ahead and bill. But what you will notice, it will create an actual entry for that specific client saying, here's everything that was done. If I double click on this, here's what the entry is going to look like. I provided legal services on 710. Here's everything I did if you want a full detailed list. And I can go ahead and update this and change this before I would review it and send it to a client on an invoice through Boost.